Okay, so in this video, uh, we have a uh, quadratic function here um, that's written in factored form. Okay, it's the function y equals negative one half times x minus one times x plus seven. And I'm trying to find the vertex, the y-intercept, and the x-intercepts of this function, of the graph of this function. So, what do we have here? Well, I'll tell you what, one thing is really easy to find uh, immediately, and that is uh, my two x-intercepts. Okay? Uh, let me make a quick little sketch of this function, okay? And it's going to look something like that. Uh, I know that because it's a quadratic function, and quadratic functions have the shape of a parabola. And this parameter right here, the parameter I generally refer to as a, because this y equals a times x minus m times x minus n is the factored form, or the intercept form, of our quadratic function. Whenever a is negative, it's an upside down parabola. Okay? And like I said, this is written in something that is sometimes referred to as intercept form, and that's because if this is our x-axis, we already know these two points here. Okay? It's the two points where uh, the value of x will make y equal to zero. Okay? So what we have, if I plug in a one for x, I have one minus one is zero. And so what negative one half times zero times anything else is going to give me zero. That means one zero is one of my x-intercepts. And over here, if I plug in negative seven here, I'll get negative seven plus seven is zero times whatever else you have will be zero. So that means, whoa, sorry about this, negative seven is on the left, one is on the right. That looks a little better there. Okay, um, so uh, I noticed that I went from negative to positive. That means my y-axis must be in there somewhere, and there's my y-intercept. And then here's my vertex. Okay? So, uh, I need to find out where the vertex is. How does one find the vertex? Well, parabolas are symmetrical. So that means there's an axis of, sy of symmetry coming down here. And so that means that this point right here is directly in between negative 7, 0 and 1, 0. All I have to do is take the average of negative 7 and 1, which is negative 3. And that gives me the x-coordinate of my vertex, negative 3. How do you get the y-coordinate? Plug it into your function. Negative 1 half times 3 minus 1 times, sorry, negative 3 minus 1 times negative 3 plus 7 gets me negative one-half times negative four times positive four, which is negative one-half times negative sixteen, which is positive eight. So my vertex is the point negative three, eight. All right, I am rocking and rolling now. I am just about done, because now all I need is a y-intercept. Well, what is what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the point that has an x-coordinate of zero. So all I have to do is just plug in 0 for x and find out what y is. Okay. Negative 1 half times 0 minus 1 times 0 plus 7 is just uh, negative 1 half times negative 1 times 7, which is negative 1 half times negative 7, which is positive 3.5. So 0, 3.5. There's my vertex. There's my y-intercept. Here are my two x-intercepts. And we're done.